Djokovic out, struck down by Kyle Edmund. No real surprises there. Stefanos Tsitsipas out, ousted by Evgeny Donskoy, the Russian. Final score, 5-7-6-4-7-6. Tsitsipas needed a rest. He will be back. He will be the number one player in the world one day. In my opinion, the ride to the top is a very bumpy one. There will be setbacks, there will be hiccups, but I have full confidence in the boy. We have a round of 16 lined up at Madrid that features some very exciting matches, and I want to talk to you about those matches today with a final focal point of Nadal. Who can stop Rafael Nadal on clay? Well, that's one of our goals, right? It's really our main goal at this point in time. To stop Nadal on clay, not because we don't like him as a person, not because we want him to have a bad life, want him to have an unhappy life. No, we wish him utmost happiness, prosperity, joy, all of that. There's nothing about his personality that I have been criticizing on this channel. We merely want to minimize Rafa's stylistic influence on the game. We don't want the professional men's tennis tour to turn into an army of Rafa Nadal's hitting those two-fisted backhands from the baseline, grunting, screaming, yelling, bringing that one-dimensional power game from the baseline. No, we don't want only that. We want variety. We don't want the game to be dominated by the Nadals of the world. And so we support the idea of stopping him for the purpose of minimizing or cabining, shall we put it, his stylistic influence. So let's talk about the round of 16. Let's talk about the contenders. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's talk tennis. I'm very much anticipating watching these matches in the round of 16 tomorrow. To be sure, we have some fallen one-handers on the battlefield. Feliciano Lopez, Grigor Dimitrov, Stefanos Tsitsipas. But we've got a few left, enough to make it interesting. And I think we have some very significant matches teed up. Let's start from the bottom. We're going to see Alexander Zverev versus Leonardo Meyer in one round of 16 match. Zverev just prevailed over the person that beat Tsitsipas, Evgeny Donskoy, and that was a straight set victory. Zverev looks good to go quite deep into this tournament. We'll talk more about that in a minute. We're going to have Milos Raonic versus Denis Shapovalov. That will be one of interest, I think. We're going to have Kyle Edmund, who beat Novak Djokovic today against David Goffin. We're going to have Kevin Anderson versus Philip Kohlschreiber. We're going to have Lajovic, Dusan Lajovic versus Delpo. And that will be a very interesting match. Lajovic is playing very well in the tournament. And he's a one-hander as well. So let's see what he can do with Delpo. But I think we're going to need Delpo for other purposes here, aren't we? In the next match, we're going to have probably the match that's going to be most interesting for me, Dominique Team versus Borna Choric. Choric is back. Remember, he had the tremendous run at Indian Wells. Well, we haven't seen him for a while, but he is now back, and he's very relevant. Finally, we're going to have Nadal versus Diego Schwartzman. But the chief question here is, who are the contenders? Who can possibly stop Nadal? Comment. Let me know your views. Even for Nadal fans. Now, of course, the Nadal fans are going to comment. Nobody can beat Nadal. Nobody can beat him. He's unbeatable. He's unstoppable. False. Dominique Team has beaten him on clay. Juan Martín del Potro has not beaten Nadal on clay, but he has beaten Nadal. But... 
I want to look at this top half of the draw because you have something interesting coming up for Nadal in this quarterfinal. We'll see what team can do with Chorich. I have a sneaking suspicion that Chorich might be able to get the better of Dominique team. Now, I'm sort of impartial about who gets into this quarterfinal with Nadal, either Chorich or team. I think team wants blood. Uh, he wants to redeem against Nadal in light of some recent experiences. And that might be a very good thing coming into the quarterfinal for Dominique team. He struggled a bit today in his match against Federico Del Bonis, losing the first set. Chorich has had a much more convincing run. He beat Struff today, 6-0, 6-2, very decisive. And he's come through in straight sets in both of his matches. Chorich, when he gets rolling, can really do some damage. So I am... As I sit here talking about it, I'm tending toward wanting to see a Nadal versus Chorich quarterfinal because I think Chorich could do a real job on Nadal. I think he could be our assassin. He's not our torchbearer. He brings a different style of game than the one that we really support and fight for. But he brings fancy and quick footwork to the court, some very consistent devastating ground strokes. He was suffocating Roger Federer in that semifinal at Indian Wells with the depth of those ground strokes. So if Chorich is on, if Chorich is on fire, I think he could really do some business with Rafa. Let's just see what happens. But if Rafa can get through either Chorich or team, it's looking like he's going to need to deal with with Juan Martin Del Potro. Now, Del Potro's round of 16 match is against Dusan Lajevic, who's been playing pretty well, but and Del Po is sort of out of practice in a way. But assuming Del Po gets through, and he's kind of the one I think should be getting through because I think he's the one that could possibly really give Nadal a hard time. So I'm gently predicting Del Po to go through with a realization that he's, again, kind of out of practice and it may be a struggle for him. If Nadal is there, if Chorich doesn't stop Nadal, and that could happen, or team could stop Nadal. We've got some contenders here. We don't have a lot of torchbearers, but we've got assassins. Chorich might be the one in that quarterfinal. That could be a very interesting match. So, Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think can stop Nadal. I think Chorich could possibly do it. I think Delpo could do it. I think Team could do it. Uh, heck, I even think Cole Schreiber could do it. I think Lajevic could do it. I believe. I'm a believer. And it's nothing personal against Rafa Nadal, folks. I just want to minimize his, or cabin his stylistic influence we can have grunting two-fisted baseliners in the game. I don't want to eradicate them. Grunting two-fisted power-playing baseliners. We can have them, but I want other styles as well. So I want to limit, to cabin Nadal's stylistic influence by stopping him now. We have a couple of assassins. Not really any torchbearers. You do have Pablo Cuevas down there. who seems to be kind of working his way through this draw. He's going to be playing John Isner in the round of 16. We'll see how that goes. You do have Chapo. Not sure he's a torchbearer, but we'll see. I'm watching Chapo too, folks. I'm open to Chapo. Let me know what you think. I'm going to have so much more. I got so much stuff in the hopper. I've got so much stuff. Reader comments are inspiring me. So I've got a couple of new uh, episodes coming out tomorrow. Tune in, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. Look forward to talking with you more soon. Bye.